Hello wonderful people, welcome back again to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. And we drop news every day and we also react to every videos that comes our way. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, we appreciate you for your massive support. And we say may God richly bless you all for supporting this channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please kindly smash on the subscribe button. Put on the bell so you get to know anytime we drop a new video. I have a video to present to you this very moment and I will be watching that video with you. And after watching, let's drop our opinion constructively at the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. I want to let Biafra know why your sisters, the Biafra women are saying there is not going to be any election in Biafra land. When you do not show up for the election, the election will not hold. What that means is this. The incumbent remains on the seat. And then, since there is no, no constitution supporting third term, that will be a call for a referendum. If you do not go out to vote, whoever that is that number of state governor remains there, and that is automatic referendum call. So that is one of the reasons why you should not go and vote. Secondly, those who are going to be gullible, they're going to pay 1,000 Naira or 100 Naira to go and do a electoral job. You better don't take that job because if you go there to answer a presiding officer, a returning officer, you will not go back alive to your family. I will assure you that. Umada assure you that. That if you take up a job as a presiding officer, a returning officer for INEC or whatever, you will not return back to your family on the 6th of November. It is an assurance. And I tell dear friends again, all the sisters that are married to our governors and our senators, please call your husbands to order. You ladies are mortals. You are all adults too. The first ladies and the w w w senators' wives. Call your husbands to order. They are wasting the blood of our generation. They are killing our children from 15 years and above. And that is our future. They will soon fizzle away. The old people will soon die. And they are killing our generation. Call your husband to order. Because Umar and your sisters all over the world are putting our first ladies it on notice today that when you know that voice you used to talk to your husband in bedroom if you need to cry for him if you need to kneel down for him hope zodima ibazo's wife i saw you the other day dancing celebrating the wedding of your child but your husband is there killing the children of other people wasting the blood of our young people I call upon you, Obiano, Will Obiano, you went to London the other day to celebrate the graduation of your, your son, but you are busy killing other people's children. We call your wives to, to call your husbands to order because when it will happen, Umada Gasinagwaruna, Umada will say we have, we, we want you people to want your husband because it's going to impact you, it's going to impact your children, it's going to impact your husband. Call your husband to order. Oh, mother, I, I tell you guys today. And for those saboteurs that are pointing hand to our ESA people and the zoo are deleting them. Please, we know you. Like uh, 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 the last speaker said, the radar is, has turned on you people. There is nothing that is hidden under the saw. And what to know, no, she refer, and I got hope, Urafia. Like we said, if you know those names nearly called, you people should stop whatever you are doing because the radar eye is already on you guys. And there is no smoke without fire. Stop being a saboteur. Stop telling the zoo where our children are and they continue killing them. So please, the Biafra women have risen. This is the Biafra women defense 
uh, 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 army. Let me use that word because the Dahomeys rose up and the women saved their nation. The Aba women rose up and saved their Aba people. We, the Afro women, have risen up to save our people. Please, we expect you people to comply with all of the things we are telling you people. Sit at home to avoid uh, to, uh, to save life. Don't go to vote. You go and vote, you will die. Don't walk for eye neck. You go, you will not come back. Dear friends, sit at home. No election in Anambra State on the 6th of November. God bless Biafra and God bless Odudua. The suspected kidnap gang comprised of a dismissed prison personnel, commonly known as General Chinedu Agu, an ex-convict who served a five-year jail term and regained freedom in February 2021. Godwin Uche, a motor park tax collector and a welder, Nadozie Monde. While General provides arms for the group, other members interchange roles in different operations. The suspects say, as a group, they have been involved in series of kidnap operations in Abia State. I bet General when I was in the when I was in the prison at Sowere. So my relationship was an officer working in the prisons there. He came and called me on the phone. Tell me, say, where I did. I tell him, say, I did my village. You say, me, say, I'll come and back. Say, move, go kidnap and walk. Now, maybe first best to wear and go call. My go fire, KK. If I fire, KK, I'll call him for first. I don't see. You go tell me, we are in there. It was in one of the group's patrol operations on July 30, 2021, that Jacob Ugwa, father of five children, was killed in the gang's failed attempt to kidnap him inside his compound in Agbo Hill, Aba. When we drove together in the stand now, so inside the vehicle, yeah, he was not telling me that he's into street or oh, in the stand now, but he's just covering up. Then I drove. He was still telling them that uh, they should still be looking for any kind of flashy car that they see around. As I built them, the doors move. We sat down there and patrol. So unfortunately, we can't enter that street. When I come back, fuller. Unfortunately, the road no fair again. The man can't enter their for their for your compound. They run, they just come down for KK. They rush the man. Me and that side with the KK. Next time I am a gunshot. As we did with them, used to come go gate, same go open gate. Unfortunately, the man can come down from the motor. Can't run. Now you see, can't shoot them for back so as you stand for back you can say more come on the man two from four so in a man come pick one me i pick one so we can't come out after we come out we go house so as we reach we can't the blame you see say why you go shoot the man for back if i say one shoot him, if i shoot him for leg we no say that for leg we shoot him so the man no go die after the story went viral the police intelligence response team, led by Deputy Commissioner of Police Tunji Disu, got the Inspector General's go-ahead to swing into action and unravel the mystery behind Jacob Ugwa's murder, even without an official petition or complaint by the victim's family. Less than three weeks after Ugwa's murder, the same kidnap gang staged a return to the neighborhood and kidnapped a six-month pregnant woman. As we do go with the patrol, we can see the man and his wife. They come, they drive, they go their street. Now, general contact, they give a main turn, full arm, move, go in house. As we come, full arm, go in house. Now, you see, can say uh, the man, main wait. Now, his wife, now we go carry. So, he go feel run money, come carry his wife. The woman get pregnant. My road, I mean, I follow them go so that I will, if they reach where they go, keep the woman. Husband to the kidnapped so pregnant woman, Kelvin Ebe, who is also a one-time kidnapped victim, identified the abductors of his wife while narrating his audio to AIT. Okay. After one week, they kidnapped my neighbor, Mr. Owa Jacob. They kidnapped another person again, in the same vicinity. As I just drove in inside my compound, four boys followed me in. I don't know where they were hiding. I don't know where they came from. Four of them was very armed with guns. 
they put my wife inside car. They asked me who is she. I told them that she she's my wife and she's pregnant. They say okay, I should stay back. They are going to go with her. I I said no, you can't go with her. She's pregnant. I was begging them to bring her out and take me. They refused. I begged them, begged. As in, they 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 are very comfortable. We, we spent more than twenty minutes in my compound. They are very comfortable. I call one of, of the. They didn't cover their face. One of them said, "What are you discussing? What are you negotiating with that man? That if." I didn't leave them to go. They will shoot me the way they shot my neighbor. I say, okay, you guys are, they, they say yes. In fact, they are coming back. They will make sure that they go house by house. I went to report to Nigerian uh, Force I ROT unit at Aba. Okay, they now took up the case. The one that was calling my wife, they, 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 they called me that they have caught that one. I went to identify it was, he didn't deny it. Some Abba residents who refuse to speak on camera say only the police intelligence response team have given them hope of any form of security as the state has recorded over 400 kidnap cases since 2018. They say the situation is sure to get worse if government does not empower security agencies as they battle to put an end to the frightening dimension of kidnapping in the state.